An ailing mid-state veteran says a program meant to help him is now causing more harm than good. He's now been waiting a couple of years for Cruz to finish remodeling his place into a fully adaptive home. Well, now he tells our Alexander Cohen he's fed up. I was a first class diver. Veteran Jim Bott loves living in Shelbyville. He's known in town as the pecan man. Uh, I have a hobby of selling pecans. It helps him cope. I did three tours in Vietnam is where I come in contact with Agent Orange, which gave me the multiple myeloma cancer. That's why he was awarded a $100,000 grant from the VA to adapt his home to his medical needs. And I was told at that time it'd be about 90 to 120 days we should be able to complete this. Unfortunately, it's been two years and the construction is still a mess. Like they don't really give a darn about the veterans. Jim cried because it's unlivable. Well, I've turned most answer. <laughs> I'd like to have this done. I called the contractor and he would not go on camera. He told me the delays are due to structural issues and other factors. 545 last night, someone funny came out and fixed the air conditioning. So my paralyzed granddaughter has some AC now. Jim's case manager at the VA told me on the phone that they're slammed with demand. So I mean, some of the construction here is just so shoddy. Jim feels that taxpayer money is being taken advantage of. Being abused. Why is that? Because of the cost overruns and the lack of initiative. He's even come out of his own pocket to help the project move along. I want to see it finished. Reporting in Shelbyville, Alexander Cohen, News Channel 5. All right, thanks, Alexander. By the way, we also reached out to the Veterans Benefits Administration about the holdup, and we're waiting to hear back.